Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape Tutorial 35. Create Tile Clones, Part 2. Alright, to open your Tile Clones tab, you can go to Edit, down to Clone, and then Create Tile Clones. It'll bring up this menu. In the last tutorial, we covered Symmetry, Shift, Scale, Rotation, Blur, and Opacity. Today, we'll be dealing with Color and Trace. So the first thing you need to know is when you're on color, it's going to turn your tile clones in for this initial color. However, to make that actually happen, you need to come here and set this color to unset. All right, so open your fill and stroke, go ahead and select your object, and go ahead and click the question mark. Make sure the stroke is done too and then now we have an unset color on our object you can double click on the initial color here you can pick it just like a normal color picker and then you can adjust the hue per row per column or randomize saturation per row per column or randomize and the lightness and then you got you have alternates for the row and for the column so let's just go ahead and put 15 percent on hue and go ahead and hit create now the initial color as you notice is right here and the hue is changed per row and per column and it mixes all the way down here we'll reset remove create and see how the saturation is becoming more and more as it goes across now with symmetry shift and scale and doing this with color you can get some really nice effects let's go ahead and remove that let's go to trace Now you'll want to make sure that this is selected and it will give you all these options will become um, selectable. So let's try color. So there's three sections to this. This is what you're picking from. So you'll have to have a background here and I've downloaded this. We'll press page down to bring it to behind. We'll make this a little smaller. Now this is pick from drawing. Now what you're what you're telling Inkscape here is the drawing behind my object that I'm going to tile, I'm going to use the color to lay this out. The next is a tweak, so you can do some gamma corrects, you can invert it or you can randomize it. So this is sort of like okay, extra extra functionality that works with the output. So this is the output down here if you're going to use presence, size, color, or opacity. So we'll stick with color here and we'll select color here. We'll hit create. Rows and columns 5 by 5. And notice how it changed this. So what it's doing is it's saying okay we're picking a color here we're picking a color here and this is the colors we're changing these two. All right, let's remove that. Let's try it again. This time we'll take presence. You can do presence and color together. We'll just do one at a time. Now the presence is taking and saying, okay, there is a lot of stuff going on here. These are the darker colors. That's where the most presence to this object is, and that's where we're going to populate. So the radio buttons here are for pick red components of color and this is pick hue of color. So we'll go ahead and try this and we'll work with the size. And notice that the the lighter hues up here are the blue hues. They make a bigger tile and as it gets lower and right here is a good example because the hues are different. So the green here is larger than right there. 
and of course you can select all of these and hit create and this is what happens so we're basing the opacity is a big one you notice that these sort of grayed out and that's because we're picking off color and we're using opacity and size so let's take off size it's still opaque let's base it off a of hue try it again so we get a lot of effects like that and that does it for our Inkscape Tutorial 35 Tower Clones Part 2 thanks for watching